to make a solid service. So if you have something that needs to be really strong, if you up the number, you get okay. a thicker one. It's the thickness of the outer yes. thing. Because it's hollow. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to make it thicker or thinner. Yeah. So we'll just do a test by making Easter eggs for Easter. How thick <laughs> does the water have to be before it breaks and then uh, have to make for Easter? Another small note on sizes. Um, you can have a really high resolution model, but if you print it in mini mini, you just lose your details because the printer cannot print so details. So if you take that same similar high resolution model, you get a lot more details out of it. Let it be obvious. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's another performance test. Like uh, when are you losing your details you want to keep? And it doesn't look like the person anymore. Yeah. Hmm. What's the name of the like minimum minimum point to like the pixel you can put? So something. This is some term for it, right? uh, or, or, or a line, if you print a line, how thin it is. If you print a line, well, we know how thin it is, because I think that is this one. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the one more note. Uh, yeah, at the moment you can see that all the lines are printed like this. Um, for some movable objects, it actually matters if you position your object like this or like this because of the way the machine is building up the print. Um, I can take the prints from the girls because it was really clear to see what happened there. So the girls are working on their own projects, which is uh, shuttles for looming projects for looming, weaving. But um, here you can see two problems. Um, this is printed like this with a raft, so it's added some extra plastic and I would say for this object a raft is unnecessary. Mm -hmm. um, it keeps some space between the object and the raft so you can actually take the raft off later on. Which means you don't get such a nice accent. But you can also really clearly see that the machine is printing, filling it up like this. Yep. So if you would, the printer went like this, if you would rotate your object 45 degrees, it would print it nicely along yeah. with your object. Mm -hmm. So also the placement on your band will matter on the quality of your print. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is a similar project, different look. Um, you can see like there's a little ridge and then it goes flat again. She designed it on the same side of the bottom. But then you get into supports again, like the, this is basically hovering above the bed. So to prevent it from falling down, it creates like a little bit of support. Well, this little bit of support is like horrible to clean off. Yeah. So maybe for her object, it was wiser to print it like this. She printed it down. She printed yeah. it down. Yeah. So also thinking about like if you would print it like this, this surface is so thin you're probably gonna have a collapsed object. So either designing something flat or uh, thinking about the angle, like how to place it on your bed, will matter for the quality of the print. Yeah. So it's much easier to like I have a raft here and clean that up than all the. But there's a stump in the. Machine? When you're printing it? Well, if the service is big enough to balance the object. Yeah, yeah, this is not so big, so that's why I'm asking. Yeah. Well, that's another performance test. Like, uh, how thin does my service need to be before my object drops over? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the support that's always rushed to that. No. Um, <coughs> I need to 
look it up, but I think uh, Mesh Lab is a program that will let you design your own supports. So if these supports are not working for you, you yeah. could like, make your own types of structure. It will help you generate that. Um, uh, do note if you're working on the computers here, all the computers are trying to update themselves today. So make sure your work is safe, restart the computer and then you're rid of the problem. Um, so this is just the quick settings. Um, we also have the custom settings which has more to do with in fails. Uh, you can go in more detail to it. Um, I do not have, I have not tried all of them. Uh, the main thing is let's try it together and see if we can figure out what it looks like. Is. Am, am I clear or? Mm -hmm. So just to get this print actually happening, um, I would say looking at this object you need support because I have a floating angle probably. But um, this is a performance test, so let's print this without support mm -hmm. and see if it will topple over or not. Yep. But how do you do the support? So, I mean, this yeah, is the, just a marker. I turn it on or off. Yeah. Yeah. I had the ESO for number set to pin on it. I thought you would have to put something in there. Oh. So what does the support do? So if you have like four, more than 45 degrees, it's like it, it would prevents my bird from toppling over. Yeah, yeah, like yeah so it makes extra. Yes. Yeah. So that and you have to clean off then. You can clean off. Okay. For student you can wait. And then it's not. I was you saw very many people. Can I wait to go and land it? Are you the ground there? Yeah, but it's not a should we? Yeah. Yeah. Do you think we should probably scale a little bit down so we don't have to print the big one? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, it's the big, no? I don't know. Well, that's like the next question. I get a lot of people that like, oh, it's just an eight centimeter print. That is not big. <laughs> but still, my little fork on high resolution took an hour. Yeah. We want low resolution now, and we want something like one centimeter. <laughs> Yeah, but that's a performance test. So you print the same object on exactly. low, medium and high yeah. in the same size with supports, without supports. So then you have like six or seven objects and you can compare. Okay. Yep. Yeah. And then you know the, adjust the minimum adjustment that you need for the object. Yeah. Okay. But we could do um, with support and without support at the same work or not? If you print two objects? So, uh, I would recommend against it. Uh, also, the printer can make mistakes, so uh, okay. that will influence your test. Okay. I would say print one at a time. Okay. But uh, let's say we do want multiple of the same objects, you can just copy and paste yeah. and print. It, it, it is possible, but for testing, I would recommend against it. Does it take more time to do two like this, or is it just no, the it's number just of movements? The time. So yeah. actually, if you make different lines thickness in our computers, you can put it together. Yes, you could. So if this is 10 minutes, this will be 10 minutes plus the movement it needs to do to move between the two objects. So adds five extra minutes. So then uh, one is 10 minutes and then sprinting two together will be 25. Ah, so so then you better not do it. No. It's even better to do it. So, so just go yeah. for one. one. Okay. Because if one goes bad, everybody...